guys, Henry from Omnibus Tutorials here. Today we're going to pick up where we left off at our last video, helping my brother Charlie with his budget. So this is a budget of a club that he's in at his college, and he asked me to find the most actualized amount. So if there is an amount here, use that. If not, or if this equals equal to zero, meaning there's nothing there, use this amount. If there is something here, use that. So, now he wants to ask me how to sum it, because he was doing it actually this first way. So the first argument here is going to be your number one, and then a comma, and then number two, and then a comma, and that could be number three, and so on. So he was actually going and summing all the ones that he wanted, separating by commas, as you would see here. Sum 8 comma 10 comma 7 and if I click in this cell here and look at the formula bar I can see that's exactly what I've done if I click before the first comma I can see the number 1 which is 8 is my first number 1 if I click here I can see number 2 is in bold and it's referencing the 10 and I can see the 7 here is referencing the number 3 and that is going to equal 25 so he's actually doing this for all 100 or so line items said so you can actually sum a range, which is what we're going to do. So I'm going to click in this cell, and I'm going to hit Command Down to get to the bottom. And that's actually going to take me to the next empty cell. So as you can see, this is empty. And that's going to be important for the caveat that I have above. So we can, we can do equals sum and click in the cell above and hit Control, Shift, and Up, or Command and Shift if you're on a Mac. I'm going to go down one to just include the numbers. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to take me back down to the bottom, and that's the amount. And I'm actually going to grab this and drag it down there because I want to show you what's a cool function called AutoSum. And AutoSum will automatically sum all the answers above it up to the next blank space. So I'm gonna, it, it's uh, Alt equals on a PC, and it is command shift t on a mac so i'm gonna hit control shift t it is auto going to get the same amount it looks different this is a number and this is a currency that is just formatting there's a couple of different ways to do this we can go up here and actually click currency or command z or control z depending on mac or pc you should click in the cell and click in the format painter and paint the same format over there how cool is that so that is what's called an auto sum. Now, I, I'm going to delete this real quick to show you the caveat. If this was blank, just delete that. The auto sum would not work. It would only go up to there. Did you see where it went up to? It went up to here because this is blank. So it's really important to have zeros if you don't do that. And we control sheet T again, and it goes all the way up. So remember that caveat when you're doing auto sum, but it's a really nifty trick. It's really cool, really useful. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, and thanks for watching.